So I'm here at James H. Floyd State Park in North Georgia, Chattahoochee National Forest. Peak autumn, and this is the one day this week where the weather feels nice, around 70 degrees. I have two missions, capitalize on autumn as best as I can and find the abandoned marble mine. Let's go. My first impressions of this 2.5 mile trail, stunned by the colors. So something I noticed throughout the years, we were in the Smoky Mountains, we were also in Linville, North Carolina. Autumn is different depending on where you are. Depends on the elevation, the type of trees that it has, even in different parts of Georgia. And here on the northwestern edge of Georgia, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I got pretty lucky picking out this spot. Soon after, I turned the corner and saw one of the most picture-perfect fall foliage roads to date. Man, this road's like a dream. Hiking in peak autumn, it's such a rarity. But on the other side, peering through the amber foliage, a remnant from the 1960s. Here it is, the abandoned marble mine in Northwest Georgia. The waterfall is a teeny tiny little stream, mostly dry around this time of year, but the autumn hike is certainly worth it. Time to go check it out inside. I will say, the area is way bigger than the picture show. Let's see if I can find some marble. Don't be a bear. Looking around, leftover marble fragments mixed within the cave walls. Very neat. See, my wife really wanted a marble kitchen top, and I can finish it up with this. I just need to figure out how to get it out of here. Well, maybe that's illegal, so. In a very random rural part of Georgia, how do they discover this marble mine? To the next one. Being one of the most loved materials, mining for marble began with the ancient Greeks. It's made of crystals of dolomite or calcite that are heated to extremely high temperatures and pressures in the earth. So this one, it's really cool. You can see the coloration a lot more and traces of marble. Much cooler than what I was expecting. But now I'm going to head back around, taking another way back. Now that we're at the higher elevation of the trail, it's even more vibrant. Yellow, orange, green, red, dark red, brown. This is the most colorful I've ever seen nature. Stunning. Look at this. The forests are nowhere near this in the part of Georgia where I'm at. Gotta be maybe a Northwest Georgia thing. I don't know, I think I just got a lot luckier somehow, some way with this spot of Georgia. Absolutely gorgeous. And if you wanna do a trip here, looks like they have uh, camping available. Around this time of year, when the days are shorter, less sun, 
and it starts to get colder. Some people start to feel down, or what they call getting the winter blues. I used to get that way as well, and what works best for me is to try to make the most out of the seasons changing like capitalizing on autumn the best that I can, hiking as many spots and seeing the differences of foliage. I try to not slow down on hiking, adventures, exercise, plus the outdoors and exercise always puts me in a good mood. Also at this time, football starts, so that's pretty sweet as well. But those are just random examples of trying to make the most out of life when changes happen. Starting to sprinkle a little bit, but it's okay. Killing two birds, one stone. Checking out a neat abandoned marble mine. Hiking in peak autumn. And if you wanna see another video that's very close to here where I'm checking out an ancient unsolved mystery at Fort Mountain, see that video here. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.